Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm here with the Benertex Fall Mr. B's Fabric Preview Medley. And I opened this up when it first arrived in November, and then I got ill, so I never got a chance to get back to it because I lost some of the fabrics. I had put it up with another project, and when I went looking for them, I only found half of them, but now I have them on my design wall and I'll go ahead and insert the clip from where I previously recorded the opening of the fabric pack here. Today is Saturday October 7th and on October 5th I received my Benetex collection for the fall and I just thought that we would open this up and see what's included. So of course every month they give you a packet that have back issues that are still available that you can purchase. <clears throat> then they also have the Fat Quarterly magazine. And it has brochure telling you some of the must have things in the sewing room. This time they've included the Shark Apple Cutter, Rotary Cutter, the Sew Stack Combo Kit, Piece and Quilt with Pre-Cuts book, and that book is by Krista Watson. They also have another book called Make Wall Quilts, and it's by ctpub.com. The also have some echo pouch pouches for you to put sewing supplies in. Next up, they have quilt shops to visit, and at the top, they have bits and pieces, which is located in Hannibal, Missouri. And then at the bottom, they're talking about Cotton Club, which is an online shop, and then they give you all the information about that, and then they tell you about a free pattern here that's included on Benner Text, but talking about other fabrics but also talking about other patterns that are available online. Then this is the list of fabrics included in the kit. And then they're saying that they've got some seasonal projects on Benetex.com. If you're interested, you can go look on the website. And then these are their fabric lines that are coming to the quilt shop soon. So they have that as well, Winter Games, Oops a Daisy and I have to see Into the Woods. So those are the three that are coming out. And then on the back they have a quilt pattern that you can use with your sampler pieces. So this month's feature collection is Modern Antique by Rose and Cook. These classic mini prints are based on the fabrics included in an exquisite quilt from around 1870. History is revisited with delicate rosebuds and flowers, leaves, dots, plaids, and more in an appealing palette. Then it says turn to page 8 to find Ring Around the Rosie, a quilt pattern featuring the included charm pack. In this charm pack we have 35 fabrics. So let's see what they look like. And I am not going to keep them in order since I will not be ordering any additional prints. So if you want to keep yours in order to buy more prints, I recommend you do so. So I'm just going to take out the stacks here. So I had to come back because I needed to put lotion on these dry hands. I just washed my hands and forgot to put lotion on them. But we're going to go ahead and do a flip so you can see the fabrics.
Okay, that's stack one. And now we'll go to the second stack. So that's it for the fabrics this month. I will admit that these are not my style of prints. But somebody else will love these prints. But I am going to use them in a project. And I will probably do this block unit here as shown in the kit. But I may do something different with it. I'm not quite sure yet. So let me go ahead and figure out what I'm going to do. And then I will get back with you. So I have all of the fabrics actually on my design wall here and I don't want to do anything fancy with this because I'm not a fan of reproduction style or type fabrics. So I just want to sew this into something that I can perhaps use as a charity quilt. So I am going to add in another pack of fabrics that I have called Mayfair. And it's also by Benertex, and it's something that I had in my stash that I thought might work very well with this. So I have 35 fabrics that came with the kit, and I have another 40 pieces here. So I am going to lay these additional pieces on the wall, and then I will come back. So on my design wall, I have, from the top, I have six rows across by nine rows going down. And I think I am just going to, for right now, just sew these straight into a row. And then I may do something else with them at that point. But for right now, my goal is to just piece these into rows. So I'll do that and come back. I'm back with my sewn columns. I actually sewed from top to bottom. And then I thought that it was a little plain, so I have gone and cut my second, fourth, and sixth rows. I have cut the strip sets in half down the middle, and I have decided to insert a piece of muslin fabric in the middle. And so in this column here, I have already sewn it to one side, and it needs to be sewn back on the other side. And then over here, I have actually gone ahead and sewed the whole thing. So I have sewn all three of my pieced columns together. And I think I am going to skip adding a strip in the first, third, and fifth columns. If I change my mind, I can always add them later. So I'm going to go ahead and piece all six of these rows back together. And one thing that I forgot to tell you earlier was that I pressed my columns. I pressed my even number columns down and I pressed my odd number columns going up. So when it's time to sew these back together, I have my seams going in the opposite direction so they'll just nest right into each other so let me do that and then we'll go to the next step so I'm back and I have sewn my complete top together now and I have two strips on the wall where I'm auditioning where I want to do my next slices and I think that I do want to do that so I am going to measure the width of my quilt from end to end cut two strips that size and then I am going to cut at those marks that I have indicated I'm going to cut them apart in the middle of the squares and then sew those strips back in I'm back with my completed quilt top and it it looks better than just having plain squares sewn together so I'm really happy with how it looks now I am now just going to put this top up because I will probably use it as a charity quilt for my quilting gill and I need to know what size quilts are they looking for for 2018. So 
I'll add borders on it at that time, but I just wanted to get the actual main part of this project out so I could get the video out. So in essence, I just really made my own plaid fabric is what I did, but I didn't do it by adding single st strips in between each of the squares. I just cut that whole row at one time and added it in. Another thing about charm squares is that I did use charm squares from the same company, but they were from two different cutting errors and I don't know how long I've had the Mayfair charm pack in my stash but some of the squares were a little different in size and so when I actually went to sew it back together my seams are not exactly perfect but for a charity quilt and you can hardly ever tell especially when it's quilted I'm okay with that but just be aware of that that's why I normally like to cut my charm squares down to like four and a half before I use them. But this time I just went ahead and used them as is. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.